Good evening, dudes and dudettes. It is a pleasure to meet you. As always, I'm your guy, Light Liger here, and today I'm going to be presenting you a crypto wallet that is currently on closed alpha, so it's not available on public just yet. And everything I will be showing you here today is still an alpha product, so some of the functionalities and features are not just yet implemented on the wallet and there might be even a couple of bugs there too so uh, pay in mind this is not the finalized product and Sprout is the name of the wallet it is created by Sesame Seed who are super delicate in Tron and they have their token on Tron called Seed which is also existing on Ontology and now on Harmony One and they're also you know planning to expand on other chains, Cosmos and Tezos were on the list, if I remember right. And that's what I like about Sesame Seed in general, is that they are planning to operate on multiple chains as possible. And that's what I like about them. And in general, I like projects in crypto, which are not being exclusive to one chain, because I don't think that does a lot of service for many people in the space, especially the new ones that are coming in. People want to operate with dApps, generally with the token of their choosing. So that's why I think projects like these are very important. And I delegate a lot of votes uh, to the Sesame Seed, just so you know. And right now, um, this is the base interface for the web wallet. There's going to be a ledger support in the future. And there is right now availability to create your own wallet from scratch or import a private key or monomic phrase. We're going to create a wallet here. Actually, I'm going to import some random phrase from the internet. I'm going to paste it in and confirm. And now it logs in, logins us to the actual interface. And we see all of these balances here right now. So Tron, Ontology, and One. And you can deposit the currencies here. And through the Sprout wallet, you are able to delegate and stake these tokens. And that's very important because we have multi-coin wallets, let's say Exodus or Atomic Wallet, which by the way, both have Ontology and Tron. However, neither of these wallets have an inbuilt staking feature. So what you have to always do is to import them into a third party wallet. It can be Sprout as well if you want to. And through these third-party wallets or services, you have to do the staking from because these are not inbuilt into these multi-coin wallets. And that's where Sprout is a very ideal wallet to have in case you're going to be investing in future into coins that are going to be having that staking feature as the ones we talked about before, which might be added into the Sesame Seed infrastructure such as Tezos or Cosmos. And... The idea here also is that the seed token is basically a pegged into um, the staking rewards. And you should definitely look more into that, how that actually works. It's a very interesting concept. So read more about it in their website. I believe that URL is sesameseed.org. I will have it on the description down below. Now let's kind of look into the interface right now. So um, first of all, I like it. It's very clean and sleek colorful. There's a not night mode mode just yet apparently. Some people want that. A bit of a feedback for the team. I might want to consider adding that and I think they have already considered. And here we have the receive tabs where we can choose all of these chains. QR codes are here which makes it faster when you're sending from a phone application. There's also already uh, the staking feature here and build it inside the wallet. So if I have Tron, Ontology or uh, Harmony One, I can choose to basically stake it out. And well, apparently we can't do that right now in this video because I don't have anything on the wallet. But basically through this interface, you're able to stake them out. And this is very convenient way and fast way um, to do it. There's also a transactions tab, which will show you all the transactions that have been coming through. I guess for the test of it, um, Oh yeah, when you apparently click them apart, you can see um, the actual tokens here and the shards. This is pretty good feature. But let's add into um, do a simple transaction from here. I'm gonna send a very small sum. Uh, let's send a one TRX from here from my Tron wallet, and let's see how it appears on the actual interface. We might as well delegate that Tron once it comes up. 
actually already here apparently shows us the market value very important i like it when there's extra decimals there especially that is important to me now we can basically stake it we can choose tron we can choose max let's put one here and we freeze it we can choose obviously to bandwidth or energy whatever we choose to and we set amount one to freeze we click yes and it's done and that's easy how it's done on the platform and now that is delegated i don't think the wallet actually shows us let's refresh the page and let's look into the swapping system also so the seed token as i said operates through multiple chains right now it's in tron and ontology and if i hold it right now in this wallet specifically I can swap it directly into Ontology if I want to. Let's say I don't want to use Tron anymore or I want to prefer using Ontology because of the fees are lower or something between those lines. And you can safely through the swapping system change the seed through chain to chain. And that is a very nice feature to be added. It makes things convenient. People who are participating on the Sesame Seed um, ecosystem. There's also the redeem feature, which shows you the pegged values of one seed here. And also we can claim the rewards from here. Now that I have staked that one Tron, there's eventually going to be uh, rewards for that. There are also, you have the ability to uh, claim ontology gas, which is also very convenient. I don't know if there's a cost involved with that. Some, some of them have. And basically from here, I can claim the reward right now. I don't have anything because, well, I probably already put one there and it's going to be taking 1000 years until there's going to be another TRX there. Uh, there seems to be a minimum for each of the ones. Let's see. It seems to be one for all of them. Um, that is relatively low. Um, there's also a settings tab and staking history, which you will be able to see in the future patches. And here is the logout button. And the that's pretty much the basis what we have. Apparently the transaction is not here, but I saw already some pictures where you can see basically um, the transactions and the staking rewards come on a daily basis and you can track them. Not all the other wallets necessarily show you uh, the staking rewards. So that is also a very convenient feature to have on the Sprout wallet. But that is my introduction or rundown of their alpha product. It's definitely very convenient once there's going to be more staking coins um, supported by Sesame Seed. And as more coins come in, more valuable basically it comes. Far as I know, Harmony One is not even supported on any multi-coin wallet right now. So that is a very convenient place to basically store it in right now. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to tip me some ontology or TRX, I'm going to leave those addresses below. Check out other wallet reviews on my channel. If you are a creator of a wallet yourself, I would love to feature uh, your wallet also on the channel. So write me an email at lightliger at protomail.com and we can discuss the business details. As always, check out other content on the channel, dApps, reviews, airdrops, faucets, whatever it may be. you find some useful content, I'm sure. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.